In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome text shake effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we first want to begin by just simply creating a brand new text layer. So in order to do this, we'll go up into File, New, and we'll go down to Legacy Title. Then we'll just press OK on this. And now we've loaded up the legacy title window. So from here, we can just go ahead and we can create our text. So we'll just press this T icon up here. That is the type tool. Select anywhere in this black video, select there, and we'll just type out a word of your choice. So I'm going to do Brooker. Then I'm just going to change the color of this to white. We'll change the font to Avenir. That is the font that I use on this channel. We'll increase the size of this. Add some weight to this. We can increase the kerning if we want to. And then we'll just center this up in the very center by using these two buttons here. Now, once you've done that, you just want to exit this window and you just want to drag title one onto your sequence. So as you can see, we've got a title now sitting on our timeline, but it's not exactly doing anything. But this is where we can now go ahead and we can use the motion tab to create some animation on this text. So select that text layer. We'll scroll the cursor back to the very beginning. So drag this playhead all the way back to zero. Then we'll just go up into this motion tab, select motion and go down to anchor point. Now it's really important that the anchor point is sitting in the very center of your text. And this blue circle with the crosshairs in it, that is your anchor point. Now it's super important that it's sitting in the middle because if your anchor point is sitting over onto the left, when we adjust the rotation, you can see the text is going to rotate around this specific point. So if we just undo that and we put the anchor point back in the center, and now when we adjust the rotation, it's adjusting around the center. And that is what we need for this effect. So if your anchor point is off for any reason, just go ahead and adjust the horizontal and vertical axis to make sure that your anchor point sits in the very center. And once you're happy with the look of that, we can now go ahead and start animating the rotation. So we'll create a brand new keyframe on rotation at 0%. Now using the left and the right arrows, we're gonna adjust the position. So we're gonna go over to the right first. So we'll go four keyframes to the right, one, two, three, four. We'll pull the position all the way up to around 16. Then we'll go four to the right again, one, two, three, four, and we'll go negative 16. So we've gone the opposite way. And if we play this back, you'll see we've got this effect here. So it rotates one way, then rotates the other way. We'll go to that last frame that we just created, that last keyframe. We'll go over another four frames. We'll go plus 12. Then we'll go another four to the right. One, two, three, four. And we'll do a negative 12. There we go. So that's looking really nice. We'll go another four frames to the right and we'll go plus eight, another four to the right and we'll do negative seven, four to the right, we'll do four, four to the right, we'll go negative two, four to the right again, one, another four to the right and zero. So as you can see, we have now just created all of these keyframes and essentially what we're doing is we're flicking back between plus and negative numbers. So we move over, we've got plus 16, negative 16. Then we go the opposite way. And then we just basically work our way back down to zero. So we get this really dramatic rotation at the beginning and it slows down after time. So let me just play that back. And as you can see, we've got that really nice rotation effect happening. And the great thing is because that is on the center anchor point, it is rotating around this middle character. And that happens to be this O. Of course, though, if you did want this to rotate around a different character, so let's say you wanted this to rotate around the R, then of course, then we can use the anchor point to manipulate this. So we just pull the anchor point over. We pull the position of this back into the center. And when we play this back, that is now going to rotate from that R. Of course, though, that is completely up to you. That is up to your creative freedom on if you want that or not. So for now, I'm just going to bring the anchor point back to where it was back in the center and we can carry on with this effect. So essentially at the moment, this effect is looking great, but if it's a little bit too slow for you and you wanted to speed this up, then you can do this of one of two ways. Now the first way, and this is gonna give you more control, is to just reduce the gaps between the keyframes. So just pull those keyframes closer together 
And that's basically going to shorten the gap between these keyframes, which means it's going to take a quicker amount of time to get to each keyframe. Therefore, the animation is going to be quicker. Playing this back, you can see we've got this quite quick effect happening now. And then of course, if you wanted to go the opposite direction and you really wanted to slow this down, then you can just drag the keyframes over to the right. So we're just going to increase the gaps. We're just going to do this on the last few, just so you can see what this is going to look like. You can see that really starts to slow down. Of course, though, you could start quick and finish slow. It's up to you. Of course, though, there is another way, like I said, to adjust the speed of this, and that is to nest that title. So we'll right click, select nest, press OK on this nest. We'll right click that nested sequence, go into speed slash duration. And then you can just adjust the speed there. So if you want to increase the speed, then you want to increase the number. So 200% is going to be double time and 50% is going to be half time. So let's adjust the speed to 300%. And if we play this back, we've got a ridiculously fast effect happening. Of course, you wouldn't have that effect that quick, but that is just an example of what you can do if you wanted to do that. So there you go. That is how you create that shaking text effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. It's really quick and really simple to do. You just have to adjust your keyframes on your rotation and make sure your anchor point is set to where you want it to be. So there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.